It's been six years since the beginning of the conflict in Yemen, which has left thousands dead and millions without food. Human rights groups are making renewed calls for international support as the country battles a massive surge of coronavirus cases. Tyson Willen explains. A humanitarian disaster of unthinkable proportions. At the heart of a brutal conflict marred by the deaths of hundreds of thousands, an ongoing famine, a plague of coronavirus, an economic collapse and the persistent threat of violence. Six years since Houthi rebels laid siege on the Yemeni capital of Sana'a, met with a coalition of forceful backlash, the hostilities look far from over. People have lost their jobs, their livelihoods. Many civil servants, they have not been paid even more than three years. Um, while uh, there is um, food in the supermarket, people do not have an income to afford to buy it. Off the back of Arab Spring uprisings, Abra Buman Sohadi became president in 2012, promising a more inclusive constitution. Unsatisfied with the Sunni leadership, the Shia Houthis, backed by Iran, motivated by decades of disenfranchisement, set their sights on power. In 2016, a coalition of Saudi Arabia United Arab Emirates and Western allies applied an import blockade. The action choked the arrival of aid and food from a steady stream to a drip. On average, a child under the age of five dies of preventable causes in Yemen every 10 minutes. And this means 50 children in Yemen will die during today's conference, and all those deaths could have been prevented. Since the war and the blockade started and work stopped, there's nothing anymore. Where am I supposed to get it from? A record number of COVID cases have been identified in Yemen during the first two weeks of March alone. With 751 deaths from 3,500 cases, the country has one of the highest death rates in the world. The situation actually has gone from bad to worse. And in this time, uh, the conflict is also actually uh, combined with the disease. Um, and then the coronavirus, um, cholera, and, and hunger has been actually epidemic um, in this country. Six years of violence, hunger and death with no end in sight. Tyson Whelan, ABC News.